In this video, I'm gonna show you how to change the nozzle on your Ender 3 S1 Pro. The steps I use here will work on almost any printer, but I'm gonna use the Ender 3 S1 Pro, so if you have one of those, you can follow right along. So why would you wanna change your nozzle? Well, the main reason is they simply wear out. The more material you run through them, the hole gets larger and larger as it wears, and that just causes print quality problems, like stringing, layer adhesion, stuff like that. So if you're having general problems with print quality, it might be your nozzle is wore out if you've ran a lot of material through it. Or if you ran abrasive materials through it, like carbon fiber, wood PLA, glass filled, I've heard glow in the dark's pretty rough on your nozzles. You will wear them out even quicker and you really might wanna change your nozzle. Or if you're running those, you might wanna to switch to a harder nozzle. Another reason you might wanna change your nozzle is just to change the nozzle size. The Ender 3 S1 Pro comes with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle. You can go lower than that, like a 0.25, to get finer detail, although it will print slower. You can go higher than that to get lesser detail and print faster, like a 0.6 or a 0.8. Or if you're printing one of those more abrasive materials, you might just want to change the harder nozzle while you're printing one of those. So anyway, let's just jump into it and change the nozzle. To remove the nozzle, you can use the six millimeter wrench that comes with the printer, but I prefer to use a ratchet with a six millimeter socket and an extension. We'll also use a pair of needle nose pliers to hold the heating block in place. I bought this set of brass replacement nozzles on Amazon. It has an assortment of sizes ranging from 0.25 millimeter all the way up to 0.8 millimeter. I'm just going to replace the worn 0.4 millimeter nozzle that came with my printer with a new one. All right, we'll start by hitting ready on the printer and we'll wait for the printer to do the auto home process, which is just the process of the printer going to the X and Y extremes and touching the print bed so it knows where the print head is. Now we'll heat the nozzle by touching manual nozzle temp, and entering 200, and then touching the check mark. Now if you click home, you can monitor the nozzle temperature up in the upper left-hand corner. The reason we heat the nozzle before we remove it is the plastic that's been flowing through there is actually kind of welded it in place. While we're waiting on the nozzle temperature to rise, let's raise the Z-axis way up so we can access the nozzle easily. To do this, touch the Z-axis value in the upper right-hand corner, enter 200, and touch the check mark. Okay, now that the nozzle is heated up, we can remove the material. We want to be careful not to damage the wires coming out of the right side of the heater block. Use the needle nose pliers to remove the silicone boot from the heater block and set it aside. The heater block and nozzle are super hot, so make sure you don't touch them throughout this process. Now coming in from the other side to avoid the wires, we'll stabilize the heater block with the needle nose pliers and loosen the nozzle. Now that we have it broke loose, let's switch over to our extension and finish removing it. Now let's grab the nozzle we want to install. It might be a good idea to wear gloves, but I usually just screw it right in. Either way, you want to be quick because the nozzle will start heating up pretty quick. And of course, don't touch the heater block. Now that it's started, we can finish threading it in with our socket and extension. Now let's switch over to our ratchet so we can finish tightening it up. Once again, we'll stabilize the heater block with the needle nose pliers. Using the needle nose pliers, we can replace the silicone boot to finish the job. But before we use the printer, we need to reset the Z offset because the printer doesn't know exactly how long the new nozzle is. To do this, touch settings and then leveling. Let the printer go through its auto homing process. Now touch aux level to enter the manual leveling process. Take a regular sheet of notebook paper or printer paper and slide it up under the nozzle. You might have to raise the Z offset to get it to slide up under there. Once the paper is in place, raise and lower the Z offset until the paper moves freely, but you can feel the nozzle dragging on it. And once you're happy with it, you're done setting the Z offset. But it would be a good idea to complete the whole manual level process at this point. For more information on this, check out my full video on bed leveling. 
And if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe.